Hi, and welcome back to Kuna Wild Pod Creations tutorial videos. Today I'm going to demonstrate how I did my rectangle square stitch earrings that we did in a live zoom session. I used some brain tan leather buckskin for the backing, um, a soda pop can, clean and washed and cleaned, and size 11 seed beads, and size 0 Nymo beading thread. And a pattern that I created specifically for this project. So I started with the wingspan length of thread. I'm going to leave about six to eight inch tail with the stopper. So to start the bead, to start this earring, I'm going to put on 20 beads. There's a black on each end that starts the pattern in that design. So to start the square stitch, we're going to put on two beads that are going to set in the direction of the tail end but I'm going to go through to the nail needle end through two beads so that the two beads I just put on will sit right next to it and go back through the two beads I just put on there and that creates that square stitch so now I'm going to put on two more beads and I'm going to go back through first row four beads so two beads of where I, my ones will sit and then two that were already there so I'm gonna go back through the two prior beads and the two I just put on so that's your square so two more beads put on go back through four and back up through four and then I'm back to where I need to be to start the next two beads Two more beads I go back four normally I go back three but I wanted this to have more stability so I went back four and then back up through four to get me into position for the next row for the next two beads and I just continue that back and forth until I get to the end of that pattern just continuing it on to go put two beads on go back through four and up through four until I finish the pattern and then I'm going to at this point I'm going to take my soda can and I'm going to cut it so that it will fit sandwich it in between the beadwork and the backing and I cut my soda can so it just be just as a little smaller than the beadwork so that I can put the edging on and the back the backing um, cut to fit the beadwork and that's what's going to sandwich that um, soda in there I'm going to use a, a post binding so I'm going to poke a hole in my backing so that my post binding will fit in and put some glue in there and glue that poke that through there and have that between the backing and the soda can so I'm going to put a little glue on there I'm going to put the silver side to the beadwork so that the green from the soda can won't show through now, a little more glue on the back side so the backing can get put on there and then I'm going to start my pico edge by going through the leather and, and so my knot will be in between the beads and the leather and then just start my pico edging I'm a pico edge all the way around in black and then I'm going to begin to do my curve which I'm going to use my needle nose pliers to to uh, create that curve just going to barely um, grasp the beadwork don't squeeze too hard because you don't want to break the beads so this is just going to gently take it and just turn so that we can roll that and flip it over and then do it again on the other side we're just turning that needle nose pliers so that it will bend that soda can and that creates your curve 
So you get it as curved as you want. And there is a pair of my square stitch rectangle earrings. The, so it can curve. So I created this pattern especially for this project and I also created three more which are um, in PDF digital download form in my Etsy shop. Go there on my quinmapacreations.etsy.com and you'll see the kits that we use for my live Zoom sessions. Stop by and join the Creation Corner Beating Circle Facebook group where we have our live zoom beating circle sessions every Sunday. So thanks. That was my video for today. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to support me to continue providing these videos. I hope you enjoyed it. So thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time.